Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to Sully's Models. Now, I want to start off with apologising for the last video or last week's video. Oh, was it last week? I've lost. Was it last week? Oh, do you know what? Everything's moulded into one. Um, the last video, I'm really, really sorry uh, about the really bad quality um, in the sound. Um, yeah, it's just quite unexcusable. Unfortunately, by the time you guys have commented uh, and told me about it, I'd actually deleted that section of the, well, that entire uh, video. Um, so I couldn't go back and, and redo it all. Um, so again, I'm really sorry, it's really bad uh, on my part, but I really do appreciate you guys letting me know about that. Um, so I'm hoping this one's a lot better. I've got my little mic on a little bit closer, so I'm hoping that will also help um, with this one. Um, so, um, this video we are going to be looking at making our car look like a bag of nails. Um, so, in this video we're going to be mainly looking at, um, you know, rusting the car up. So we're going to be doing, um, obviously, a lot of rust effect. Um, we're also going to be looking at uh, the hairspray uh, chipping technique. Um, so in this one I'm actually using actual hairspray. Uh, normally I use AK's worn effect um, or product of uh, the same sort of thing um, which is basically the same thing um, but I have actually got an absolute shed load of old hairspray that I don't use anymore um, so I thought well I might as well try and use it um, you know because otherwise it's going to go in the bin so I thought I'd give it a go uh, for this video and the model um, what else we're also going to be looking at uh, sort of like uh, rust streaking um, as well uh, on the car and this is just to make this car look really <laughs> as old as possible uh, really because you know the whole um, sort of diorama of this one is obviously the car has been sat for ever and a day um, uncared and unloved um, so you know of course the entire effect of it we want to get is just the fact that it's been sat there forever and a day so uh, without further ado let's get into the video and uh, see what we can come up with Okay, so start with our rusty looking vehicle. After basing the uh, car in a black primer, I then based it again uh, with a dark rust. Now, what I've decided to do here is to add a little bit of texture uh, to our rust um, finish. Uh, I've put um, some shadow rust in um, and mixed uh, some pigment in there to give it a bit more of a sort of a lumpy uh, texture and as you can see there stippled it on with a little sponge taking off most of the excess um, off the sponge and then just plastering it all over the vehicle I did exactly the same thing with a light rust uh, except I didn't use the pigment um, for any texture in this um, this was just to sort of uh, lighten it now, yeah, it's a little bit all over the place, but that's kind of what you want. Um, but I decided to tie it in a little bit better by using the same uh, light rust and just sort of, you know, filling in the gaps a little bit more, smoothing it out a little bit, because um, it was a little bit um, overly rough for the way I uh, wanted it to look. Okay, so now all our uh, chipping uh, and rusting has been done. And what I've done is I've uh, coated uh, the car in a few layers of hairspray, uh, decanted that into uh, a little gas, glass jar and put it through my airbrush and it says gave it a couple of coats. Now, this is going to be great uh, for the uh, chipping technique I want to be doing. Uh, but I don't actually want it on the roof, the bonnet, or on the boot. So instead of masking it all off, I've gave it a good coating over the top of the car as well. And also it will, you know, because I'll probably, I'll, well, I'm going to go over it either way. I know I will because I always get over spray. And um, I think as well it will give a nice... Uh, chipping effect down the side of the car because I'm not quite sure on how far I actually want to go down the side of the body. I definitely want to take a little bit round the wheel arches and possibly on some of these 
uh, raised parts there as well. Quite 100% sure I want to take some of the pillars, uh, take it down on some of that as well. So we will we'll see. Um, so like I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spray this white. I was going to go for a fancy colour, but I thought, well, for what I kind of want to be doing and showing you guys, is actually white's going to be a better colour to show up any dirt and grime, and particularly doing um, rust, uh, rust streaking as well. It's going to show up really nicely on there as well. So also what I'll be doing is just a few uh, thin layers, but enough to um, cover the rusting. Because the thinner the layer, the better it chips. So once I've got this all based, I'll come back to you and we'll look at the next steps. Okay, so now this is all pretty much uh, dried out. So we've got pretty much the entire bottom half uh, covered. And all we're gonna need is some tap water, a nice soft brush, and with the brush and the water, I should say, or the tap water, it will start reacting with the uh, hairspray and we'll start getting our chipping there you go you can see there's a thick layer coming off that's not looking good is it okay we'll I'll leave that for a second and come back to it in a minute and see what happens This could go badly. Probably now a good time to say actually this is the <laughs> this is the first time I've actually used uh, hairspray uh, for this because normally I use uh, AK Interactives uh, worn uh, chipping and worn effect, and that's not really ever let me down. But the good old fashioned hairspray technique that everybody's always raved about, unless I've used a not very good hairspray. I mean, it used to be good for me when I used to do my hair, but uh, ooh, this might not be very good. We might have to strip all this back and redo it all over again. Working well there. It's in the corner. But I want to get this off, off my bonnet. Right, now after doing this bit, I've realized actually, I think what it might have been the problem was uh, a little bit too much water is why it came off in the skin. But as you can see here, it carries on um, and it works uh, fine, just using a little bit of water to reactivate the hairspray. As you can see, I also used a needle, um, which is really good for sort of uh, scratches, taking away some of the um, edges, um, you know, uh, raised edges. And like I said, it's good for doing scratches. Um, as well um, if you want it's probably best maybe sometimes to start uh, with something like a, a needle or, or something just to, to, to scratch away um, and get some of the chunks removed because uh, sometimes using a brush can always take uh, too much away at start so if you're not used it before and just sort of want to build the confidence up um, you can do it that way or just even better just use a test piece and you know see how you go and work from there if you're happy with what you're doing, move on to your model and do whatever works best for you.
So now we're going to move on to uh, streaking. I'm going to use a series of uh, Comart paints uh, for this. Uh, also, what we're going to want is a nice uh, thin brush or a pointy brush and uh, a nice uh, sort of wide uh, flat brush uh, for this process. And what we're going to do is I'm going to mix um, the light and dark rust uh, to sort of get a bit of a sort of variation tone and I'm going to dab um, a couple of spots in uh, to start with uh, and then we're going to use the flat brush uh, to sort of drag um, these spots uh, downwards um, you can also do this sort of bit of an up and down motion and that this will get you uh, sort of like a nice uh, sort of uh, wide sort of streak uh, to sort of start with and after that we'll go in again uh, with a nice fine brush again and just do some sort of light streaking so you'll get a mix of sort of um, like an old um, sort of stain that's sort of streaked down um, and some sort of newer uh, fresher streaks in there as well. So afterwards, like I said, I come back in um, with that fine uh, brush and just giving a few, you know, sort of newer and fresher streaks um, to what we've already put down uh, before. So there's the point of sort of feathering that out like I did before is just to give you, you know, a really nice sort of light and maybe older uh, sort of rust effect and, you know, building up a little bit more to sort of show, you know, the things continuously um, rusting away. Um, and then maybe depending on how you want it look you, you may want to put like a really really light rust so that's sort of like your sort of uh, yellowy uh, rust you know to, just to give you that more of an impression and a little bit more depth um, of that rust but you know doing it in this sort of fashion is you know is quite a versatile um, way um, of doing rust streaks and particularly if you're using sort of uh, the water based stuff you know it's really you know really easy um, to play with but you know you've got to be careful with adding too much water as well particularly if you're you know um, haven't put a um, uh, any form of varnish on um, between these sort of processes which I hadn't at this point um, so to be very very careful of adding too much water because uh, this again can still reactivate um, the hairspray from you know the previous chipping so you know you need to be very mindful um, of that Bearing, keeping with the um, sort of uh, varnishes you know you could always try uh, putting a gloss or semi gloss varnish down um, beforehand because this also does give you a little bit more uh, flexibility and in some cases makes it very easier um, you know to apply that streaking as well So there we go. Um, that's for the time being uh, with the rush weathering. I'm I'm pretty happy with that. Um, that pretty much has turned out exactly the way uh, I wanted it to um, sort of look. It's always good using really really old models of cars uh, for this type of uh, weathering uh, because of course most modern cars they've got a lot of plastic in them, uh, particularly around the bumper areas. And using old cars, there's plenty of metal uh, on these old things. Uh, you know to give some really really good um, sort of rusting effects and making these car cars look really old if that's what you want to be doing with it so 
So there we go, guys. That's all the rust weathering done uh, for this episode. Uh, next episode, we're going to be looking uh, a little bit more uh, detailing uh, on the vehicle. Um, got a few little extra bits to sort of uh, detail on it. So keep tuned for that if you haven't done so already. Uh, like and subscribe to the channel if you put the bell notification on. Of course, that will also tell you when that next episode is ready for your viewing pleasure. So again, guys, I hope you've enjoyed. Uh, if you'd like to help and support the channel, there's a link in the description below. And as always, guys, I'll catch you again soon.